And welcome back to the channel. And this video is our first ride of the fall of 2023. First official day of fall. And it's about three o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday, September 23rd. So fall this year is a little bit late. Usually it's around the 21st, but it actually arrived late last night, but uh, the first official full day is today. So I'm out here for a ride and getting this ride in before hopefully we get rained on, but it's inevitable that we will get rain at some point because, uh, well, it's fall and in Oregon here, it pretty much means the start of rain season. Once you get into fall, winter is rainy. Spring, you start to come out of the rain. And, and then we get back into summer and then back to fall again so as you can see with the overcast sky it looks and feels like fall here and it has lately it's like uh, a switch has gone on and uh, you know quickly uh, brought us back down from we were uh, quite warm there uh, still getting temperatures into the 90s but today we're in the 60s and uh, and I'm dressed for it too. I've got my uh, jacket and my gloves on for sure. I'm not sure what the weather's like where you are, but uh, hopefully you got some good riding days ahead before we get into the uh, deeper into the fall. up and get across you can see uh, some of the trees already changing color it all happens so quickly and this is the first time I've had the uh, alert graffiti for fall I, I mean I got it in February last year or this year uh, I should say and so uh, I got uh, some of the winter with it and then the spring and summer so now this is the first time getting into fall with the bike so looking forward to that we get some uh, pretty nice uh, foliage around here so uh, ought to be some great uh, video views of that coming up in the uh, upcoming weeks but basically I uh, ride the bike year-round as you can uh, tell by my videos I've even got uh, some uh, snow and ice rides in we don't get that very often but uh, when we did last year, I did uh, uh, some rides in the uh, snow and ice. It's not, I wouldn't recommend it, but it's doable. You can do it, especially with a fat tire uh, e-bike. If I had narrow tires, I don't know if I would do it, uh, but I feel a lot more uh, safer and secure with the fat tires on the e-bike you just gotta take it easy it's doable but 
like I say, I wouldn't recommend it, especially when you get the ice on the road. Uh, that gets really tricky. I think I was riding like 10 miles an hour, 10, maybe 12 miles an hour at the most. And just tried to uh, kind of take it easy. And uh, we don't get uh, snow, like I say, very often here, but it can happen a few times in the winter. Or there's times when we don't get any at all, so. But for sure we're gonna get the rain. So that'll be, you know, for sure. So you gotta, if you wanna ride year round, well you gotta ride in the, in the rain. Yeah, we're supposed to uh, be getting rain, and I think once the rain starts, this is nice here, they've re-paid this. Wow, I haven't been over here in a bit, Cook or uh, King City Park, and look at this, this is nice. Didn't realize that. I guess it's been a little bit since I've been over here. This is the way all of our bike paths should be. Perfect, smooth, that'd be awesome. All right, and now I'm gonna, I was gonna turn out of here Last time I came around here, but I saw that it was freshly uh, paved, so I thought, oh, I'm gonna look at that. Beautiful. Maybe you can leave a comment in the comments below. Do you ride, and I've asked this in the past, riding in the winter, but do you ride year round? Or do you shut it down for the, uh, the winter or fall? I mean, there's some people that just won't ride in the rain or snow. The snow is a little more understandable, but the rain, you know what? If you're equipped, you know, you've got your rain gear and your bike is okay to ride in the rain, then I don't really have a problem with it as long as you can stay dry. Um, but I prefer no rain, but if it's gonna happen, I mean, I don't wanna take away my days of riding and wait for the rain to go away because if we do that here in Oregon, we'd lose a good chunk of our of our riding year, you know, and I don't want to do that. So I uh, am okay with riding in the rain. A little tricky though, riding in the thunderstorm. I don't like that though. If there's thunder and lightning out there. We don't need to have that happening, but as long as you uh, are careful, You know, take it easy. I think one thing is uh, probably smart to do is to ride just a touch slower on the slick, uh, wet pavement.
just you know ride a little more cautiously but but for us here it's mostly where where other people get snow we mostly just get the rain we may get a little like I say a couple of times a little inch or two but I mean there's once in a while though you can get like a foot but it's very rare it doesn't happen that often oh I think that guy ran that stop sign Let's see what's nice to get out here it's a bit cool like I say but with the gloves on I got a jacket on I'm good first ride of the fall of 2023 cat up ahead This is also the time of year where new bike models come out. I notice quite a bit in the uh, fall, um, new bikes coming out, and it's kind of an odd thing because uh, look at look down there as we see. Look at all the leaves already down. My goodness. Um, but yeah, it's a kind of an odd time when a bike, new bike comes out in the fall, uh, new bike model, because a lot of times, a lot of people can't uh, ride them because we're getting so close, you know, after fall, we're getting into winter. By the time you get it, uh, you order it and get it delivered, it's almost winter time. Then you gotta wait till spring. But I find, um, the best deals seems to be, from what I've seen anyway, is uh, Black Friday, right around you know, late in the year. Um, you're going to pick up uh, some good deals probably, and what's, what happens is too is a lot of bikes may be going out that model, or they have a new model coming in of the same bike, the newer uh, model. Um, and uh, so they uh, put them on sale, then out come the new, newer models. And, uh, but I'd be okay with that. As long as you can get parts for your bike, right? If you ever need to. A lot of times, uh, you don't need to get a specific part for that, your bike any different than a lot of other bikes, they'll fit, but If you want to leave a comment on this or any other video on the channel, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time. <laughs>